Hello and welcome to Backseat Drawing Workshops. I'm Eric. And I'm Josh. We are continuing our series of videos on how to paint a background. Okay. Today we're going to focus on the section here in the foreground where we're going to be building up a lot of grass. Grass. Yes. This is the grass episode. This Only is, grass. This is about grass. So what's the deal with grass? You just you need crabgrass. You need some uh, f tall fescue. Yeah, that, whatever, is that one of the grass kinds? Yes, it types? is. <laughs> species of grass. So you can download this Photoshop file in the link below. You can also download my brushes in the link below on my DeviantArt account where you can use these and follow along with us. Today, I'm going to be using a lot of these brushes right here. Right here. Okay. So the first one we're going to use is this one, the little fan or eagle head brush that we used in the last yeah. episode to create a bit of texture in the foreground. That's the Kentucky bluegrass. Yes. What I've done is right now, the only layers I have active are the little strip of palette colors there, the, the trees in the foreground, and the background. And I've made it, a, I've made kind of a layer between the trees in the foreground and the background. Because right now what I want to do is just kind of texture this a little bit with our bluegrass brush. <laughs> bluegrass is really good. Sure. It's a good, uh, good genre of music. <laughs> so as you can see, it's a pretty quick, easy way to like add a bit of texture to our background. And what I'm trying to do in this way is create sections where it looks like the the um, it's kind of coming towards us. Like there's a bit of there's a bit of uh, dimension to the background. Okay, so it's kind of like if when you see those drawings of the moon over water, like the light is streaming across the uh, water. Essentially, yeah, because if the it it does that, grass is going to reflect the light that has been touching it in the same kind yeah. of way. So if, if the light is only kind of spilling in right here, it's going to be strong in the center. Well, that sounds good. All right, so this is uh, just really quickly, just hitting it with that one brush. I kind of created a lot of texture right here in the foreground. Okay, and it looks like you're done. Well, what I want to do is I want to create some real nice patches of grass. So I've committed Oof. that layer down. But the patch grass I use is this layer, or this brush right here, 398. That, that's the Bermuda grass. <laughs> what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just lightly touch some of the sections here with this brush and kind of create patches of grass. Now, what you really want in a lawn is consistency. So patchy grass, that's not, that's not great. Uh, well, it's good for nature. Also, I Me just too. realized, but I need to be moving this this layer up above these two trees because I am focusing right now on this section right here, which is in front of the trees. So I'm going to overlap oh. them. Oh, so now I can't see the roots. That's right. I don't know if I like that. I like to know where I came from. I like to know my roots. <laughs> All right, so we can imagine they're kind of like on a little hill and you can't really see where the roots are going in there. But again, I'm just quickly color selecting from the background. And then just working in those patchy grass works. I like it. I like the hill effect. Yeah? Yeah. I, I think Hank Hill would be proud. <laughs> this, the, the blending of the grass types that you've got here. Right. Now I'm going to take some of this light higher yellow and I'm going to put that right in the center. Now it's, it, the, the light seems to be coming out broadly towards the front. Is yeah, that... That's okay. We can imagine that the light might be spilling in sections of the canopy here that we're not seeing. Okay. I do have a list of all the grass types open in my other window. <laughs> Just so you can have more relevant grass conversation. Yeah. Do you have uh, another brush you're going to use? Uh, sure. How about I? Um, how about I use? How about I use? Let's use this one right here. Aha! That's the um, Saint Augustine grass. <laughs> so this is just basically a stamp. 
So if I if I took a little dark color here, what you can see is it's just stamped a like I don't know, some sort of a shrub. But I want to go ahead and reduce this a little bit. I'm gonna put that guy maybe like right there, and maybe like one right there, and maybe one in a little bit of more color, like right there. Ooh, that's a little too bright. Ooh, let's, let's do okay, that one so, right there. So I think I was wrong. That's probably the rye grass. <laughs> it's a little more wild in, in appearance. Okay. And I think what I want to do is, remember how we were talking before about that canopy brush where I was uh, using those leaves and I was blurring them out a lot? At this point now, since we're clo so close to the foreground, I am going to put a couple of these in without blurring them. And it's going to look like just little sections of, of shrubs and stuff that are kind of in the foreground. Like uh, laurels. Yes. For example. Yes. And I like I generally like to put them around the the, the base of the trees cuz it almost looks as if they've been protected a little bit by the trees being there. Sort of like when you see like, a lawn like in nature. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're probably strangling the trees actually. That's what these types of shrubberies tend to do. That seems a lot less pretty. Yeah, and they're like hogging resources and stuff, so, you know. That's why forest fires happen. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that kind of add a little bit of focus area right there around the trees, get a little more grass. And I'm going to go ahead and turn that layer off so you can see what that looks like without it. Oh. So oh. it added quite a bit, just in a little bit of amount of time with just a can, few brushes. Can you show me, can you play with the opacity on the new layer you just added? Because I want to see how the texture underneath is, is affecting it. Okay. All right, a little bit. Just a little bit. It was just enough to add something, you know, just as a foundation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think the next thing we'll probably do here is just add a little bit of variety and texture to the actual grass. I mean, I like it. It's it's definitely looks fluffy and nice and grass-like, but I think I do want to add a little bit of uh, texture to it. So I'm going to take this, which is a pebble brush. This brush pebble is in a forest. What? This brush is basically going to just add a little bit of texture to the grass. So I'm going to go ahead and take a, a dark color, probably around like right there, and then increase the size just a bit. So it looks like there's just some areas where the grass might be a little scarce, and there might be a little bit of those rocks showing through. Okay, so there's rocks in this forest. Mm -hmm. I like well. to alternate between dark and light colors and kind of give it a little bit of dimension. Okay, yeah, but rocks in a forest does that happen oh often you have you ever fall trees <laughs> the trees know how to rock man <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see here i'm just adding just a little bit of variety to the background just a little bit of uh just little spots where it looks like there might be like some rocks on the ground some imperfections. Yes. Just in like nature. Imperfections. I also have Perfect. a couple of different things that you can hear. This one's typically a, a clover brush. You can use a light color, like uh, generally somewhere around the yellowy white. You can add little flowers and specks here. Oh my God. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's just like, just like nature. <laughs> I generally like to like reduce the size just a touch because it is a pretty opaque brush. Uh, so if you're going to use it, you might want to play with the, uh, the opacity level on it. I'm going to just fun. knock those out just real quick. That's so fun. All right. So basically we look like we have pretty much go everything going for us at this point. And you know what that means? What? I'm going to merge these layers. Oh no. no. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. So let's go ahead and move this palette bar down again. I'm taking a good look at what we have here. Uh, and I think I like what it. I what I think I don't like is the edges of the tree. So I'm going to go back. Okay. This tree has been maintained on a layer because I figured that I may come back and add a little bit more highlight to the edges. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this little brush right here, this little guy between the square and the line. This that's is just the, kind of a... That's the uh, um, grandma grass brush. <laughs> it's actually a texture brush. So if I show you... Yeah what it looks like without that. It's kind of like a, just a soft texture. It's really just easy like to work with because it's kind of a, an opaque brush. I'm going to take this light blue. I'm going to come over and go towards white. I'm going to just hit the edge a little bit. Just so it looks like that tree is a little more lit up from the light source. Wow. 
Wow. So, I mean, that's that's the light from the background. That's not that's. Mm -hmm. is, you can is imagine there like if it's light? spilling through here, that it might give it a little bit of light. Are you going to do like a backlight as well, like you did mm -hmm. before for this, or? Yeah, just a touch, just because I want to bring each edge. See how it's starting to look less flat and more cylindrical? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the uh, the idea there. Cool. Now, these trees don't have any leaves at all. No, they don't. So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to add those leaves. <gasps> I guessed it. Because <laughs> I really like to show, I don't like when the trunks just disappear into the sky like that. So I'm going to make a new layer above all the other layers. I'm going to okay. go back to our canopy brush, this one right here. Right. And I'm going to take a very, very dark green. I'm going to increase the size just a bit. And I'm going to just kind of hit those up just a bit, just on the edges, just to get rid of the illusion that they're just disappearing right there. And as Happy. you can see, without that, it just kind of looks like they're like going Winter. nowhere. And with it, they kind of disappear. Now, I'm going to add just a bit of the lighter colors, just so it looks like the leaves are getting just a bit of that light that are coming now, from the background. Are you, is that brush turning upside down when you do that? Mm hmm It does a lot of crazy things. It actually takes a little bit of a practice to get used to the, the behavior, but it is a fantastic brush. Wow. As you can see now, kind of took that and made it disappear a little bit. So what I want to do at this point is just make sure that the trunks there really are disappearing into the shadow of the canopy. So I'm going to go back down to my airbrush. I'm going to take maybe this deep purple color. Go down here, overlay, blend mode is different now, and then come down and just kind of knock out the tops of those a little bit. I think that's a little vibrant, so I'm going to knock it down in opacity. So are these, these trees are very white and bluish are they birch or are they like is that just sort of a, a lighting i just like like bluish like fantasy trees <laughs> oh. wow. but you you can mess with their colors like if i wanted to i could add a little bit more red in them and it kind of you can see here it's kind of just changing them a little bit and you can always play around with the color and that's actually what we're going to be talking about in our next episode oh boy yeah and until then we'll see you later Smelly later. Yeah.